Morning everybody. Well, I am here with Back East and this is, uh, don't say it, Z's. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's Matt over there. Still just Matt. Still just Matt. <laughs> Anyway, we spent a wet, cold night at uh, Muskrat Shelter, but they, uh, the people that were here first were kind enough to let us have, in fact, Matt had the floor and I had the floor, and yep. Z's was fortunate enough to be up on the... <laughs> yeah, I squeezed on the, uh, So, uh, what's your favorite part so far? I should have asked you ahead of time and let you think about it. The nice weather we had to start was my favorite part, yeah. and oh. I miss it. <laughs> yes, I bet. Well, hopefully we'll have a few days here. And yeah, my favorite part was... Uh, it, it was cloudy the whole hike up until we got to Preacher Rock, and then it just gave us a beautiful view of uh, Yona, Mount Yona. Oh, that's really so that cool. Was cool. Yeah. yeah, great. So y'all did how many yesterday? 13 or something? 13. 14 if you count the walk to the top of Georgia. It was yeah. brutal. Oh, goodness. And it was it was so cold. Well, y'all see my video of how miserable I was, was getting miserable. up here, and I only did seven and a half. So, so. we're only doing five today. Good. Yeah, Good. <laughs> nice short day. Well, we wish y'all the best. Thanks. You too. Have a great hike. Thanks, you too. All right, everybody have a blessed day. Good morning, everybody. Can you see what's shining on my face? It's about 20 degree wind chill out here. So I get the chance to try out my mask. Just left the shelter. We had six people across, two other people with their feet up by our heads, two people on the floor, one person on a table, about six people in hammocks. Not going to talk long. This is what's greeting me this morning. Rained, 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 and now it is cold. So let's get on down the trail. Everybody have a blessed day. Get out and hike. All right, so here's the situation. Get back in the sun here. Uh, I'll keep this close so you can hear me. So, the temperature went much lower than what the weather had originally said that it was going to go. And uh, yesterday, the rain, everything was wet, soaked. Fleece, my hiking shirt, uh, everything. So, I had my dry clothes to put on to sleep in. Slept real well with the uh, fleece liner that I have and... Uh, the uh, enlightened equipment enigma that Grumpy has loaned me and you know I was great in the sleeping bag it was just ice cold this morning we're pretty sure it was close to 20 as far as wind chill the young kids the fit kids the ones that are gonna go forward no matter what the weather is they their hands were frozen they were shivering but anyway so I had to go ahead and I couldn't put those cold clothes on in this cold weather. Wet, icy cold. I mean, they were frozen, literally. And uh, so we're going to get off at, several of us are getting off at Deep Gap, walking the five miles to be picked up down that uh, Deep Gap Forest Service Road uh, where the gate has got it closed off, five or six miles, I'm not sure. So I've got about nine miles to do to uh, get safe, basically. And... Uh, you know, learning a lot from this, which I'll share as we go, but um, try to show you some of the trail now that the sun is out. Would normally never wear my puffy to hike, but this is kind of an extreme situation and I was just so cold and I'm still cold. Uh, I have some warmers in my pockets. They can warm my fingers. It was my first experience having non-Gore-Tex shoes and while the shoes are great and my socks kept my feet dry, the socks got really cold, just like I was always afraid would happen. And uh, putting them on this morning was really tough. My feet are, my toes are cold. Right now, unfortunately, I don't have any foot warmers. Lesson learned. Always keep foot warmers. Anyway, they'll be okay, I think. I mean, I'm sure they'll be okay. So, turn this around, let you see some of the trail, and uh, we'll talk more about all this later. Can you believe 
that. It's an Appalachian Trail Day sky. So, warm the mind, warm the heart. Maybe that'll help warm the feet and the hands. And the nose, which is, nose and ears are fine, thank goodness for the mask. Lost another smog. I guess I'm just not meant to use a smog. It's really a beautiful day for hiking. Oh, we're at a place called White Oak Stamp Gap. And uh, the sign over there says no camping, which is unfortunate. But I'm sure they have the reasons. So, kind of double blaze on the tree, kind of blue blaze, changing directions there. Not sure which way we go. Mine says white oak stamp and there's a white blaze up ahead so we'll head on up this way well I guess we see this in every uh, YouTube video we look at I just came from up there you can take chunky gal trail I think it goes down to 64 maybe I'm not sure anyway we have definitely left the leeward side and have come into the windward side temperature just dropped about 15 degrees, so I'm glad I left everything on, because it is chilly, chilly, chilly. like it's going to go below 20 tonight. It's supposed to be windy for a couple of days. So while the sunshine would be perfect, I'm sorry you're bouncing around, that's the wind. Or I'm bouncing around, I guess. Anyway, while the sunshine would be perfect, to go ahead and hike straight through, go over Alpha Mountain, hit the 100 mile point. The cold is not in the wind. I don't feel safe going over Albert Mountain, and I don't want to take the bad weather trail. Uh, it's supposed to be a really good view. I want to see it. So, uh, and everything, half of my clothes are wet, half are dry. So I don't know if I already said this, but I'm going to take the uh, Deep Gap Trail, uh, the road, down to where the gate crosses it, and uh, get into town, into Franklin, and then uh, reassess what I need to do from there. With you, I'm seriously considering doing what I'm going to call a jump up. Uh, I have a friend coming from college who's going to hike with me. We don't know how long, maybe all the way to Katahdin, who knows. But um, not only do I not, I just feel like my legs are not ready for these high mountains and uh, the elevation to 3,000 foot climbs, three and four total in a day. Uh, it's not the pack weight now, it's just my legs. So, and the pack is on my shoulders still today, even though I tried to make the belt, but not as, quite as bad. And I got a small belt coming, and I feel pretty certain that'll fix that. But anyway, so, I'm thinking about doing a jump up to Damascus, and then uh, maybe go as far as the Whites, and then come back here, start a deep gap with the gates open, <laughs> get a ride up, and then do the high mountains in North Carolina and Tennessee, and then go up to the whites, and that way I can build up gradually, which seems to be what my body is requiring, and uh, see if that'll work. So hopefully everybody's going to think that's a good idea, 
but um, anyway, I'm sure my friend will be just having her start in this kind of climbs for her first time hiking. I just I don't feel good about that either, and it's going to be nice to have a hiking partner for a while over how long she wants to stay. So I sure don't want to beat her up the first week and have her want to go home. So that's what we're thinking about doing. Hope y'all like it. In the meantime, wherever we are, I'm going to show you as much of the trail as I can. And uh, today it's just a gorgeous day and just gorgeous views hiking. It's just very windy and very cold. So it's really, it's a great day to be out here. Just not under the circumstances necessarily that, you know, if I had dry clothes, I could deal with the cold. But there's also lots of people in shelters now, you know, because of just starting out so very slow, having to take the week from my toe. I mean, the bubble's catching me already. It's the early bubble. The at the shelter, they called it the bubble to avoid the bubble. And uh, it's just going to be too hard in the cold to have a place in a shelter in the rain uh, for someone who's a slower hiker. So I have to take that in consideration too. So uh, I'll, be, I'll be interested to see what your comments are. But uh, that's kind of the plan right now. And uh, hopefully these videos will be getting up and be a little more timely here soon. I'm going to try my best. Talk to you soon. We're coming into mile 84.7, 4462 on the elevation, and uh, I believe this is Water Oak Gap, and uh, you can see the beautiful view we got today. Your colors in the winter are multiple shades of brown and then multiple shades of green, and um, a few other colors every now and then. But in the blue of the sky, or whatever color the sky happens to be, what a rope gap. If you've got the right gloves, the right headgear, and, uh, you know, the right gear all around, it's, it's a great day for hiking. Little source water source here. So much different than it was last year this time. Great place to get some water. Just to let you see that it is a little bit chilly today. Can you see those? It's a little bit chilly today. But whoa. I just got to the top of this climb and finally stopped to look around. Whoa! Wow! I love winter hiking. Just got to get this smaller belt so I can carry this pack well. Just doing a little bit better. I kind of worked on the reflectix belt to kind of make my waist larger that I put on this morning, and it is helping some, but not enough. In fact, in that sun, for a moment I considered just going forward, and uh, and then I thought, well, I, I feel like the clothes are probably drying on the back of my pack. So, even if it does go down to 18, I've done it. Set up my tent, I'd probably be warmer than in the shelter. But then, you know, the pack, pack is perfect. The pack is great. It's just the waist, waist belt's too big so it sits too low and pulls on my shoulders and two more or three more days of this uh, I could end up with an injury with a severe pulled muscle or something in my back or neck. Right now I've just got some aches, pretty severe aches, but I haven't really done anything that'll last a week or two. You know, it's just a matter of a couple days. Maybe I'll find a chiropractor in Franklin, then go to a masseuse, and then go back to a chiropractor, and then go to a masseuse again. And then it would be fine at this point, but I, I don't know, I'm afraid if I carry three more days, I'm liable to, um, especially over that climb, and I don't know, I think there's some rock climbing in that, climbing over Albert Mountain maybe. So, 
and I know me if the sun's shining I'll be wanting to go over it so yeah darn it I probably better go on into town get the belt which probably won't get here till Monday maybe Saturday I don't know if it gets here Saturday then I could go hike Sunday but um, anyway Beautiful, beautiful. Get out and hike, folks. I don't know if you can tell, but I got a little bit of a slide on your bottom down. Looks like. I guess that's the trail. Too bad there's nobody here to film. That's one of those things that would be great to see somebody else doing it. But let's just get her done. We've got some water sources around 84.4, and as you can see, they're this one is flowing really well. Well, darn it. That's going to be a little time consuming. So I'm going to have to crawl through that. I'm trying to get down to where I'm getting picked up by four, so I'm going to have to make two miles an hour once I hit that road. All right, folks, I made it to Deep Gap. And that looks like Kenzie something trail there, and this looks like the road here, so 5.9 miles, I believe. Let's head on down the road. I'm walking down this Forest Service road, which we thought was going to be all downhill, and uh, looks like we got some uphill. And I am in a bit of a hurry, but I thought I'd stop just for a second. Take a look at this. My favorite view on the Appalachian Trail. Alright folks, first of all, this road has been uphill, except for the first tent that was slightly downhill. It's been uphill the whole time, and whenever we have driven from a road, regular road, onto a forest service road, we always had to go uphill to get to whatever gap it was we were going to. So I guess I assumed that would be the way this was. So our road walk would be downhill from the AT to wherever we're going. But obviously I was wrong. But here's the other thing. This is the best looking forest service road I've been on in Georgia. And G and I have been on just about every one there is along the AT. So I don't understand why they would close this road in the winter to Deep Gap. Somebody's going to have to explain that to me because this is a great road. I mean, the one's going up around Springer and Gooch Gap and Horse Gap, Cooper Gap. They're not nearly as nice as this and they don't close them. Oh, well, that's right, we're in North Carolina. I guess they have different standards. Well, anyway, this is a great road. So, but it's uphill in the AT so far. I'll let you know if that changes when I get to the gate. <laughs>